بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my dear students to a new lesson of English lesson number 5 This lesson will be the second part of grammar, the passive In this lesson we will talk about the continuous tenses and have plus object plus past participle So please you have to draw your attention carefully to this class or lesson Number A. Let's read. Read the newspaper report and answer the questions below. First of all, I want to read the text. Flood victims saved. After the floods, which began yesterday morning, thousands of people are now homeless. By late afternoon yesterday, the water was still rising and people were being rescued from Roof, rooftops by boat and by helicopter. The government said this morning that everything possible was being done to help the victims. Food, blankets and other supplies are being flown to the area by the army. Medical and rescue services are being provided by the Red Crescent and local emergency services. Now, after that, we have some questions. Number one, what was the situation yesterday afternoon? What did the government say this morning? And how are supplies getting to the area? Finally, number four, what about medical and rescue services let's answer them number one what was the situation yesterday afternoon the water was still rising and people were being rescued two what did the government say this morning the government said that everything possible was being done they said that everything possible was being done what about the third one? The third question: How are supplies getting to the area? They are being flown in by the army. Number four: What about medical and rescue services? They are being provided by the Red Crescent and local emergency services. If you notice, my students. Here, the sentences are in the passive forms. Let's do the following task or exercise. Exercise number A on workbook page number 47. Rewrite the sentences in the passive form. We have an example here. The water was carrying away cars and trucks. Cars and trucks were being carried away by the water. So let's do them all. Number one, the rescuers were using three helicopters yesterday. Two, people are using schools for temporary accommodation. Red Crescent volunteers are looking after the victims. Someone's counting the number of missing people. Reporters are interviewing the survivors. And the Red Crescent is organizing a campaign to raise funds for the victims' families. Let's do the first one. The first sentence is... The three helicopters were being used by the rescuers yesterday. Number two. Schools are being used for temporary accommodation. Three. Victims are being locked after by the Red Crescent volunteers. Four. The number of missing people are is being counted. The number of missing people is being counted. 
Number five, the survivors are being interviewed by reporters. And number six, a campaign is being organized by the Red Crescent to raise funds for the victims' families. Now let's come back to practice number C in our main book or the course book. Study these three sentences. Do they all share the same meaning? Number one, she is, ba she is bandaging his arm. His arm is being bandaged. He is having his arm bandaged. Here we have a study box or a grammar box have plus object plus past participle we use have followed by an object and past participle to talk about something that somebody someone else is doing for us the past participle has a similar meaning to the passive Here we have some examples. I had my carpet cleaned. So here, I didn't clean. I hadn't cleaned my carpet. Somebody else had cleaned it for me. So here, I had my carpet cleaned last week. My carpet was cleaned by somebody else last week. She is having her hair cut at the new hairdressers her hair is being cut by the new hair dresser number D say what's happening in the pictures being or begin we can begin sorry with he she is having So here are the answers. Number one, she's having her uncle bandaged. She's having her uncle bandaged. Number two, she's having her hair cut. Three, he's having his shoe repaired or mended. Now practice number B. In pairs, make sentences about things that most people have done and things that most people do themselves. Use the words in the books and your own ideas. In the books we have cut their hair, wash their hair, wash their car, test their eyes, cut their nails, paint their houses, Repair their computers, cook their dinner, make their beds. And after that we have examples like Must people have their hair cut? Must people wash their hair themselves? Let's do this practice. Here we have some possible answers. Must people wash their car themselves? Must people have their eyes tested? Most people cut their nails themselves. Some people have their nails cut. Some people have their nails cut. Most people have their houses painted. Most people have their computers repaired. Most people cook their dinner themselves. And finally, most people make their bed themselves. After that, let's do exercise number C, which is the last one. Rewrite each sentence so that it means the same as the one above it. Example. His car is being repaired. He is having his car repaired. Number one. The dentist is going to fill 
her tooth two somebody must repair my shoes three I am going to ask the police to arrest you four someone should wash my car five an architect is designing their house let's see the answers what about the first sentence the dentist is going to fill her tooth she is going to have her tooth filled she's going to have her tooth filled number two somebody must repair my shoes I must have my shoes repaired three I'm going to ask the police to arrest you I'm going to have you arrested what about number four someone should wash my car I should have my car washed I should have my car washed and the final sentence number five an architect is designing their house they are having their house designed now at reaching reaching or at doing this exercise exercise number C we can end up this lesson my students thank you for being with us thank you for your patience and goodbye